According to the researchers, the characteristics associated with a person who is likely to believe in conspiracy theories has personality traits such as openness to experience, distrust, low agreeability and Machiavellianism are associated with conspiracy belief. Low agreeability refers to a trait of agreeableness which psychologists define as how much an individual is dependable, kind and cooperative. Someone with low agreeability is an individual who is usually not very dependable, kind or cooperative. Machiavellianism refers to a personality trait where a person is so focused on their own interests they will manipulate, deceive and exploit others to achieve their goals. In terms of cognitive processes, people with stronger conspiracy beliefs are more likely to overestimate the likelihood of co-occurring events to attribute intentionality where it is unlikely to exist and to have lower levels of analytical thinking. A real flying saucer looks like this. An Avro car, manufactured in Canada, being test flown in 1961. Or like this free-flying air cushion vehicle being flown by its inventor, Professor Paul Muller, in 1965. But UFO sightings persist, and skeptics often become confirmed believers. I've slowly come to the conclusion that there are such things as interplanetary spaceships. I'll have to stick my neck out and say that because I believe it at long last. Psychiatrists often call these reported UFO sightings illusions, hallucinations, self-delusions. I'm not saying that there aren't things in the sky that we don't know about. What I am saying is that when there's anything that one doesn't know about, then the mind fills it with a great mass of fantasy. And that most of what we're dealing with in these reports is almost certainly fantasy. Fact or fiction, myth, menace, or marsh gas. This is an age when scientific and technological developments are rapidly making yesterday's fiction fact. Once you start to analyze a situation with demonstrable facts, it usually and quite thoroughly will break down the conspiracy theory into its component parts none of which make sense standing on their own. For example, with zero evidence, conspiracy theorists need to invent a reason for Chinese involvement in spreading COVID to match what they see as facts. But once a person starts inventing a narrative out of thin air, you can see very little critical thinking occurring. People high in need for uniqueness should be more likely than others to endorse conspiracy beliefs because conspiracy theories represent the position of unconventional and potentially scarce information. Moreover, conspiracy theories rely on narratives that refer to secret knowledge or information which by definition is not accessible to everyone. Otherwise, it would not be a secret and it would be a well-known fact. People who believe in conspiracy theories can feel special in a positive sense because they may feel that they are more informed than others about important social and political events. Individuals who endorse conspiracy theories are likely to be higher in powerlessness, social isolation and anomia, which is broadly defined as a subjective disengagement from social norms. Such disengagements from the normative social order may result in greater conspiratorial thinking for a number of related reasons. 
First, individuals who feel alienated may consequently reject conventional explanations of events as they reject the legitimacy of the source of these explanations due to these individuals feeling alienated from their peers. They may also turn to conspiracist groups for a sense of belonging and community or to marginalized subcultures in which conspiracy theories are potentially more rife. Researchers also found that self-esteem instability resulted in self-uncertainty also is a characteristic associated with a greater likelihood to believe in conspiracy theories. People who don't feel like they belong to any one group, a trait psychologists refer to as belongingness, are more likely to believe in conspiracy theories. The internet has amplified the abilities of those like-minded people to come together to share and expand on their conspiracy theories. One cannot really argue with people who believe in conspiracy theories because their beliefs are not rational. Instead, they are often fear or paranoia-based beliefs that when confronted with contrarian factual evidence will dismiss both the evidence and the messenger who brings it. That is because conspiracy theories are driven by the people who believe and spread them and their own psychological makeup not on the factual support or logical reasoning of the theory itself. Conspiracy theories are not going away for as long as there are people who have a need to believe in them, they will continue to expand and thrive.